Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Shining Force 2. We already played through the first one. I've even been tempted to play through it maybe a second time with mods and stuff just to see if we couldn't have a different experience. I've also considered playing through some of the Game Gear versions of... Uh, well, I guess there were like extra stories and things of the Shining Force series. So essentially, the way I'm understanding it from what I've looked up and read... There was Shining Force 1, then there were like two Gaiden games, I want to say, that came out on the Sega Game Gear. And on the Game Gear, those were set as stories that followed the first game, but they weren't canon, and they don't really count in the overall story. So they were just kind of using the same characters and things of that nature, or were using characters that were in the main game as like, plot devices, or whatever the case was. Anyhow, so there was two of those, and then there was another one. I, I can't remember what it was called, but there was another one that basically bridged the gap between the story in number one and the story in number two for Shining Force 1 and 2, and that came out after, I want to say, after Shining Force 2. So that was a Game Gear game as well, but that one was can I don't know, it's very confusing, so... I sort of have been sitting here wondering, should I be playing those games first and then come back and start playing Shining Force 2, or how should I do this? Well, I just decided that I'm going to go and I'm going to play Shining Force 2. So, maybe not the most uh, awesome of choices, but eh, it is what it is. Anyhow, uh, the Shining Force series is one of my favorite series of all time, and I am absolutely going to be playing this and enjoying it. Also, keep in mind that Shining in the Darkness was kind of a precursor or a, a prequel, if you will, to the original Shining Force games. I particularly did not enjoy it, so... Eh. But I didn't give it much of a chance either. I, I suppose one day I'll have to go back and actually sit down and force myself to play through it and enjoy. So, that being said, we're going to hop in and we are going to play. I'll throw it into the old Genesis there. And this is on Steam. I've finally figured out how to get all my settings to make it not look terrible. And I'm, I'm pretty excited. So, welcome to Shining Force 2. I'm sorry for the long intro to guys and girls. Stay here, okay? My plan wasn't to... Oops, a dead end. My plan wasn't to kind of babble a whole bunch there, but... It is what it is. I wanted to kind of explain where we were at and why it took so long to get back to the Shining Force series. Hey, I found some hidden stairs. There's also chests right there at the top of the room. Hey guys, follow me. This is Slade the Thief. Alright. Finally, I found the hidden room of the ancient shrine. A treasure chest. I wonder if they're here. Slade the Thief opens the chest. He found power water. No, I don't want this. I do. I want it. No, he discarded the power water. Power water is good. Where on earth are all those jewels? I'm not sure. Something is shining over there. Oh, they must be the Jewels of Light and Evil. You'd think that naming them the Jewels of Light and Evil would deter people quite a storm from wanting to steal them. Especially the second one. Excuse me? It's a stormy night. And it's unusual for this time of, of year. Excuse me, Your Majesty. It is time to go to the Ancient Tower. Or is it time to go to the Ancient Tower? Yes, sir. It's stormy outside. Be careful. I've already, I've already lost track of whose voice is where. It's fine. Hmm. Excuse me, sire. I have a bad feeling. Oh well. Oh, a gust of wind! <laughs> Make sure all the doors and windows are shut. 
Oh no, the lights have gone out. Well? <sighs> okay. You wimp, let me do it. Yeah, right. Blast, it won't budge. You idiots, let me do it. By the power of the ninja thief that I am, I shall not succeed because I'm bad. Well, that didn't work. Maybe if I try pulling them both at the same time. Slade the thief grabbed the two jewels and through his body a conduit was formed. And one, two, three. By the power of Grayskull. Are you okay, my lord? Yeah. Maybe it'll just great. You did it! You have the legendary jewels! I, I, I did? Uh, I mean, oh! I got them. I have the legendary jewels. <laughs> or boom? I don't know if it's a boom. It's funny. What's happening? We must escape from the shrine. Follow me. Get up, you lout. Let's go. Somebody bring a light to the king's chamber. Oh, the wind blew all the candles. So it's it's so dark I can't see a thing. I've become Deckard Cain as well as weird. What was that? I do not know, sir, but I will find out. Sire, the ancient tower. What's wrong? It's collapsing. Maybe it was struck by lightning. No, not lightning. To my knowledge, that tower is impervious to any type of disaster. Minister? M -m 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 minister What is it? Oh, the sealed door. Uh, ancient tower. Go on. It it's open. That's impossible. It can't be opened. I'm sure it was closed before the lightning, but, 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 um, uh... Strange. Sire, I'm going to go and see what happened. We must know the truth. Be careful. Take me to the sealed door. Alright, it's just this way. I mean, we've been there a thousand times. You should know where it's at. But I'll go with you if that's what you want. Strange. Strange indeed. I sense a great evil. Lightning at the ancient tower. Huh? Did I hear something? A sealed door that is open. An unusual storm. Everything is just so strange. What? I feel as if someone is watching me. It must be my nerves. I... I guess it was nothing. I have to get a hold of myself. What was that? Who's there? It's not my imagination. Somebody is in this room. It's the Boogeyman. No! Kinda looks like the Boogeyman, right? Hey! Stay away from me! I don't want your boogies! Don't touch my throne! I don't know where all you've been! Somebody! Help! 
Oh my gosh, he just threw some clear poo on me. And now I'm spinning rapidly. I don't feel so good. Oh. <laughs> that, that's just how I envisioned him laughing. Aw oh, yeah, Shining Force 2. Circa 1994, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go back in time to one of the greatest video games of all time. Alright, so that was a super long intro, but hee 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 hee, we're finally here. Ah, you look so confused. You don't know why you're here, I do not. Yes, yes, I used a spell on you. Oh, of course, it all makes sense now. Haha. <laughs> Where are you going? You can't escape from this mystery forest. Unless you help me. What you gonna do, brother? No, um... Uh, I guess I'm gonna continue. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. I, I guess I'm gonna delete Bumpy. I, I played around with this to try to figure out what difficulty I want to go with. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna start new. That's what I'm gonna do. That's strange. It's fine. What should you call me? Data One. That's 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 my name. Hmm. I think we're gonna be called the Adventures of Bob. Full name Bob Bobbington, but obviously we don't have enough space for that. So. Bob, nice name, huh? I'll let you decide the difficulty level at this time. Alright, so, essentially, what I've seen from the difficulty level, I'm sure there's more things to it, it basically increases the health of the enemies. So, if you start on normal, there's going to be a lot of death. Or, sorry, there's, gonna be, there's not going to be a lot of death. If you start on normal, it should be fine to be able to get through the entire thing. Uh, hard, I don't remember. I think, like, the first enemies have, like, three or four four health or something like that. And then when you go to the hard difficulty, I feel like my... It, it's weird, because it, like, cycles... Anyway. Um, hard, I think, instead of... Say it's four. Instead of four, they had five. Instead of five, they have six. Instead of six, they have seven. That's a bit much to start with. So, again, you can do it, but it's, it's a bit rough. So I'm going to try hard difficulty. And we'll see if we can't make it through with that. Taking it easy. Wait, what? I'll let you decide difficulty taking it easy, yeah? Well, good luck, you have no time to waste. Thought I chose hard, maybe I didn't. It was on hard, right? Anyway, welcome. Welcome to the game. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what, uh... What buttons do what. Ooh. What in the blue blazes... Did he just randomly wander around? What is he doing? Look! Oh, I was rewinding! Oh yeah, they have a rewind function now. I totally forgot that existed. Oh, that's, that's neat. Okay, I was so confused as to what that was. Oh, that's pretty cool. So if you screw up, you... Okay, that, that, I, I'm gonna try very hard not to abuse that. We'll, we'll see. I may have to adjust my controller. Good morning, Bob. You woke up late this morning. Did. did the storm wake you up? Hurry to school. Sir Astral and Sarah must be waiting. Alright, sorry about that, folks. I think I've got it somewhat situated. I'm not 100% positive. There we go. Hurry to school. Sir Astral and Sarah must be waiting. Alright, Bob investigated the bookshelves. A book, Attitude of Soldiers. So there are a few things that I figured out. I figured out that we have a speed up button. So if we wanted to go fast, we could. Which is kind of neat. Investigated the area. I don't know where all the secrets or any of the secrets are. I'm not going to be looking at any kind of a guide. Unless I run into, like, uh, what I... Unless I run into, like, a place where I can't figure out where to go or what to do next. I may look up a guide, so anything that I find is just going to be by happenstance and just me being diligent or not diligent. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I do find some things. Sir Astral is the wisest person and grandson. He's such a great man, he opened a school all by himself. You must realize how lucky you are. I do. I feel like the music's just a little loud. He thinks of you as his own grandson. Sometimes he may badger you, because, but that's because he loves you. It's fine. Hi, boys. Good morning. Are you going to school? I uh, say, Sir Astral certainly is a great person. He even teaches a mischievous kid like you. Yeah, well. 
up? Good morning, Bob. It's a wonderful day, isn't it? I, I guess. If you're into days being wonderful, I suppose this would be amongst them. You guys are gonna let me through, are you? Cannot enter the castle, Grancy. Go away. Well, you're no fun. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome. Your desire will be fulfilled. Will it? Will it? Um. Be careful. The light always on your side. All right, we'll be going to the school soon. I just like to kind of walk around town, talk to peeps. Oh, this is it. Oh, well, there it is. Whoo, I'm sleeping. Jaha, must be sleeping soundly about now. What's up? Hey, Bob. How are you? Sir Astral's in the basement, but he looks strange today. Well, let me go talk to him. Uh, later. Oh, um, yeah, yes. Oh, yeah, it must be. No, it's, it's not a... Yeah, I'll, I'll be down there in a minute. First, I want to search this. If the barrel was empty. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a waste of time, but... Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Bob investigated the bookshelves. Sega God. Sounds good. Bob investigated. Be good. Okay. The little Dinosaurs. And... The Legend of Max. Max is the original main character of the first game, I want to say? An old goat, Sir Astral. Guide to the castle. Study of yogurt. Science 101, and I found a medicinal herb, or a medical herb, as it were. All right, time to continue. Oh, morning, Bob. When did you come in? Is it time to start school? Okay, I'm gonna be coming up soon. Yeah, yeah, I'll be up there soon. Take your seat. Be prepared. Oh, by the way, Bob, what do you think of the storm last night? Did you feel something evil, or or, or anything? No, nothing. Perhaps it was just my imagination. Sorry. Uh-huh. You're a creepy guy, man. It's okay. I'm gonna sit down next to my Centaurian friend. Yes, everybody here. Okay, let's start. Wait, wait. Where is Jaha? Did he oversleep again? Ugh. Oh, well. I can't wait for him. Where did I leave off yesterday? Sarastrol! Sarastrol! The minister would like you to come to the castle. What has happened? Why are you so? The king has fallen down and he is he's, he's in great pain. What? The king? Okay, I'm coming. Uh, um, sorry kids. I have to go to the castle. Uh, stay here. Bob, did you hear that? The king is sick. But I think it must be something else. He was acting so strange. Hey, Chester, let's go to the castle. We can't, Sarah. We're just kids. They won't let us in. Never mind that. I have a plan. Bob, maybe we can meet the princess. Are you going with us? Yeah, I am. Meeting the princess? Why not? Let's go right now. Hurry. What? Bob, are you going? I'm going, too. Sarah the priest and Chester the con the community have joined the forces. The forces? The force. All right. Uh, the priest in the night. I will try not to abuse the fast forward too much. I do apologize. It's there. It's there for me to abuse. It is asking me to use it. I must refrain for the good of all. Halt! Where do you think you're going? Well, let's see. Um, uh, yes. Uh, S Sir Astral called us. Why? his pupils and uh, he he left a package behind and uh, you, you want to deliver it to him well okay go ahead <coughs> be good in the castle okay uh, thanks also you guys are really bad at your job J just so you know you like you didn't check to see if we actually had a parcel or a package um, you know maybe maybe go back to guard school I I'm just you know what we're gonna go Come kill me. I have a wooden sword. Sleepy, 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 sleep. Sleepy, huh? Who are you? I'm tired because I was standing watch all night long. And I went back into my coma. Okay. I do like the music in this game. Weapons stores. The weapons inside could be rusty. 
We haven't opened that door for many years. Well, now is the time. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, look at this. Bob opened the chest and I found an antidote. Da, 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 da. Dun, dun, dun. I'm opening the chest again and I'm finding an angel wing this time. I cannot be contained, I'm just saying. I found a medicinal herb or a medical herb as it were. <laughs> in this well. Bob looked into the well. A deep, dark well. Very cool. Well, I suppose. I don't know that we're going to get to actual any gameplay. Our current rate of uh, consumption here. It looks like we're going to be ending the episode right as we get into the combatual area. Which is fine, I suppose. Obviously, the king is up there, but we're not going to go that way. How busy I am. Soldiers eat here every day without doing any work. I think that's okay. A soldier's job is fighting. What is she doing now? She brought the king his breakfast over an hour ago. Bob looked into the barrel. It was empty. I bet it was. It was still empty. I bet this one's empty, too. Yeah, it is. All right. Bob looked into the barrel. It, too, was empty. I suppose we shouldn't be in here because it's the girls' dressing room. Ah! Who are you? Get out of here! Boys are not allowed to come into our dressing room! Uh-huh. Sarah was with us. It was fine. It has been very warm lately. Well, thank you for your, uh, super useful information. That's what we'll call it. This is King Grand Seal's public room. Oh, you must be pupils of Sir Astro. You look too young to work for the king. Why don't you go back to school? <laughs> I saw Sir Astro going into the king's bedroom. He was in such a hurry. Do you know why? That's creepy, man. You need to you need to use a different tone when you're talking about stuff like that. I'm just saying. That was a bit weird. This east tower was built in order to watch for invaders. Why is it now? I find that fascinating. How fine the view is, I can see the eastern continent from here. Well, I can't see much of anything from here. It is an unfortunate reality that I just have to deal with. I'll be a bit less snarky probably moving forward. But, uh, the game's back in the day. We're all a little bit, uh, you know, a little high on the cheese factor, we'll say. And that's totally okay. There's definitely some charm to it. Ooh, I'm sitting in the king's throne. That's right, bow down and worship me, for I am the new king. What's wrong with the king? He's usually down here by now. I thought the king would be the last person to oversleep. Really? Well, I think we should probably find out about said king. The cook said the king didn't eat today. I wonder why. He's not feeling well, obviously. I am a messenger from Galam. I came here to see the king. But he's still sleeping. Did I arrive too early? All right, what do we got? We got a book about treasures. And... Grand Seal Kings. Too bad we can't actually get any more info out of those. Hello. It's West Tower leads to the Ancient Tower. The Ancient Tower is a sacred place where only the king can go. Thank you. I'll adjust some of the volume levels and stuff. Uh, like I said, I feel like the music and sound in general is just a little bit on the loud side. But you're going to have to put up with it for this episode. I know. I am heartless and cruel to all of you. Alright, we are here. Uh, <laughs> oh, Father! Please wake up! Sir Astro. Hmm, nothing is wrong with his body, but... He is suffering badly from something. Perhaps it might be... Well... Whoops. We done been noticed. What are you doing here? Uh, whoops. Uh, uh, sorry, sir. I, I, I didn't want to serenade us. Well, we, we just followed you. Don't lie to me, wretch. You wanted to see the castle, didn't you? Sir Astro, who are they? Oh, well... They're, they're my pupils. So they are. They look like good kids. 
You must have a special reason to have them here, right? Um, well, I didn't mean for... Astral glares at Bob. Poor Bob. He gets no love. <clears throat> you said the door of the ancient tower is open. There must be a connection between the open door and the king's sickness because of reasons and logic. I called them here to help me investigate the tower. Now pupils, follow me. Don't give me any more trouble. Smack him to the head. Uh, yeah, so, um... We're gonna follow you, but, like, after we do other things... Bob looked into the barrel, it too was empty. All these barrels, all empty. Alright, well, let's go talk to the peeps, and then let's get on with our mission objective. Legend regarding the tower. Hmm, I do... But do I have to go to school again? Maybe. Hey, princess. Oh, father, are you alright? The answer is no. No, he's he's clearly not alright. He got hit with a booger demon with some clear translucent poop. Hello. I didn't want to involve you, my children, but this might be a good opportunity for you to learn how to properly serve your king. Are you ready, Bob? Yeah, I am. Born ready. Let's do it. Let's go to the tower. Follow me. Alright, onward we go. Let's go have some fun. Yeah, tower murder. Move. So Astral's already inside the tower. What are you doing? Well, you're in my way blocking me, man. Get out of the way. He told you we were coming. Oh. Yeah, look at that. We get to go out and explore and do things outside of towns now. I know. Shocking. Bum bum. Bum bum bum. I'm sorry. It's just like the first game. Oh. Oh, really? Okay. I, I gotta say, I did not expect to be able to do that. That was pretty cool. Uh, well, I guess we go in. There you are, Bob. Stay here. I'll take a look inside the tower. Huh. What a mysterious tower. I wonder who built it. I have a strange feeling about this place. Roar, roar, roar. Oh. What's this? I think I've seen this symbol before. It's a giant summoning rune in the middle of a... of a room. Rune room? It's, it's fine. Rune room. Uh, what, what's happening? Uh, look, something is appearing. Wait, what, what's that? Oh, no! An evil gizmo! A devil that possesses people! Why are you here? Where are you going? What? Wait, you're here to possess the king, aren't you? I won't let you pass. You shall not harm the king. Oh, what if I harm you instead? Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Uh, well, I guess we'll stop the evil gizmo here. Bob, defeat these fiends. I'm just gonna go and clean my beard. It's fine. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to do it for the very, very first episodic episode of A Shining Force 2. We will get into the game proper, doing some tactical turn-based mechanics with our amazing squad of three right now which will grow, well, quite large as we go through and we play. Anyway, I hope you guys are excited for this. I'm definitely excited, and, you know, I feel like I've been playing a lot of Sega games lately. Uh, and this one's old, and I've been playing some new ones, so... I'm gonna return and start throwing in maybe an episode a week of Shining Resonance Refrain. We're gonna be playing the Valkyria Chronicles games 1 and 4, and, of course, we're gonna return here to Shining Force 2. Anyway, if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, I don't know how much of that info I'm actually going to have. But I'll have all the stuff that I do and can find down below in the, well, the links down in the description of the video. It'll be fine. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you're crazy because I just kind of rambled and did a lot of weird stuff. It's fine. Uh, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, guys gals. Give me that like. Do good stuff. And it will be rewarded to many fold. I don't know about that. 
Anyway, subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. I think I said subscribe. I don't know. Do stuff, click buttons, things. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel and checking out The Freak Show. And I will see you later.